Hello friends, welcome to Dr. Sai Physiology Academy, DOPA for short. This is the place where we make the learning of physiology easy, exciting and effective. Thank you for joining me. If you're new to this channel, you're especially welcome. And if you love the content that we share, kindly click the like button and also the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't have to miss any new content that we drop. Now let's get started. So today we're going to be dealing with special types of active transport part of the general topic transport across cell membranes why are we call them special types they are special because they are not really being transported through the cell membrane but they find their way either from outside the cell into the cell or from inside the cell out to outside the cell without necessarily passing through the cell membrane and of course it's active transport because it uses a lot of energy let's just go straight into it now there are two types represented by these two diagrams here one of them is called endocytosis represented by this upper diagram endo now endocytosis simply means it is taking in endo taking particles from outside in and these particles they are particles that are too large macromolecules they are too large to pass through there is no carrier protein or channel proteins or whatever that they can fit into they are too large that's why the cell had devised this very special mechanism from for taking these substances in okay so endocytosis is further divided into two one of them is called pinocytosis and the other phagocytosis phagocytosis so they have a nickname both of them have nicknames so this pinocytosis is cell drinking nickname this is known as cell eating nickname now this is what happens there are particles okay that are outside macromolecules now the cell they need to take in these particles inside you see they are big large particles so what happens the cell begins to develop pseudopodium like you know false feet a very prominent uh, um, animal cell that does this thing is amoeba when it moves it stretches out false feet pseudopodia okay so the our human cells they do the same thing so but what it does is that it now stretches start stretching part of the plasma membrane it stretches like this and begins to engulf engulf okay you can call it swallow begins to engulf it you see now it's covering it and covering it then what happens is that these two parts of the cell membrane when they come together they fuse together they just fuse like this and join and it becomes they become one again and this substance has now entered into very interesting looks magical and then the content of this thing is now called phagosome so if you look at a part of the cell membrane has been lost as a result of this because this thing now is a membrane it now forms another body it's like looking like a cell organelle itself it's called the phagosome okay so cell drinking is actually the taking in liquid molecules liquid substances that's why it's called drinking but they are macromolecules so it's the same this thing but phagocytosis is mainly solid particles that are bigger they're usually bigger particles than the one that goes through cell drinking 
solid particles like cellular debris okay particles wasted breaking bro broken parts of cell cell debris it's it then also like bacteria so why most cells almost every cell undergoes pinocytosis only very few cells do this phagocytosis and what are those cells white blood cells not just all white blood cells mainly neutrophils okay cell eating neutrophils neutrophils and macrophages macrophages there are two major types of white blood cells they, that's how they destroy bacteria so this phagosome it now goes and joins with the lysosome remember lysosome they have acid hydrolysis that can destroy and digest like digestive system of the cell so it fuses with that then it releases all those enzymes to destroy digest break down whatever it has swallowed or eaten and when it has done that it will now spit it out okay through the next process so i'm going to be talking about exocytosis endocytosis and this one is exocytosis which looks like the opposite of that we're going to be talking about that don't go anywhere after this break right welcome back so now let's talk about an exo exocytosis always remember that physiology is english egg endo in exo out sight anything sight they're talking of cell okay so it's just talking about the cell taking something out all right now there are things in the cell that needs to go out also macro molecules the cell has for example sometimes after taking in digesting this thing phagosome then lysosome phagolysosome they've destroyed whatever they want to destroy they will need to spit it out but apart from that even without having to do with endocytosis on a normal day the secretion of substances like hormones neurotransmitters that's the chemical substances that nerves they secrete they are, it's true exocytosis so it's like the opposite now this is the secretory vesicle it's called secretory vesicle okay so it's in, it's bound by a membrane okay they are inside so it now moves to the cell membrane and then the cell membrane breaks down here in this other one it fuses in this one it breaks down so this cell membrane now joins that's this membrane okay that is in the secretory vesicle it's bound by a membrane now joins with the cell membrane so one thing you notice that exocytosis adds to the cell membrane do you understand you see that's added to the cell so the cell becomes bigger this one takes from the cell membrane because this membrane now this phagosome is covered by a membrane which it took from the cell membrane endocytosis shortens the whole length or diameter of the cell membrane this one adds to it elongates it so the two need to always balance each other because if the cell is just doing secretion 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 it will be adding adding it it cannot sustain it itself like that if this one is always eating eating it's not taking out its cell membrane will be getting shorter and shorter and shorter so we call this what we call endocytosis exocytosis coupling means that a cell that has taken in through endocytosis also needs to to bring out and a cell that has done exocytosis at some point will also need to 
through pinocytosis to drink because pinocytosis uh, virtually all cells undergo it but this fagio is only these two major cells okay so that is what happens so why are they active transport because they use energy this thing it's elongating it's movement every form of movement uses energy remember and when we talked about cytoskeleton we talked about different filaments okay an actin filament which is a microfilament that has to do with change of cell shape so it is what is involved in this it's what is making it possible for the cell to elongate itself move and so all that process of movement through the microfilament called actin it's using energy to elongate itself all right the same thing here using energy to push this thing first to this membrane then now push it out and all of that so it uses energy for that movement through microtubules and then actin microfilament so that is why it is active transport it uses atp uses atp the energy currency of the cell and so i think that's what you need to know about this special types of active transport endocytosis and exocytosis right see you in the next video